Hi, I'm Richard Lee. Today we're going to look at how you can directly configure the controller's IP address on the AP's console. We're now looking at the AP, and this AP is booting up right now. And this AP has been configured with a static IP address, so it's not getting the IP address from the DHCP. Therefore, it's not getting the DHCP option 43 for the controller's IP address. But it's still trying to figure out which controller to join. So it's uh, translating the Cisco CapWeb controller name using the DNS service. But since I didn't configure the DNS, so it's never going to figure out which, AP, which controller to join. Now let's take a look at the CapWeb AP command, since we're going to use that command to uh, configure the controller's IP address directly to the access point. Using the CapWeb AP command line, you can configure the IP address of the AP, uh, the IP address of the controller, also the primary, secondary, and tertiary of the controller. Now let's try the CapWeb AP command, but before that, Let's take a look at what the configuration inside the access point right now. No controller has been configured for this access point, so our IP address is showing zero. <clears throat> now let's try the capweb ap command. It's capweb ap controller ip address, then simply input the ip address of the controller's management interface then after a while this access point is going to join that controller now as we can see this access point is joining the controller and the downloading or the configuration from the controller now let's check the configuration in the access point again show cap web client config as we can see, this uh, 192.168.100.1 has been configured on the access point directly as the controller's IP address. As you can see, this configuration process is very simple. And uh, if you have time, please also try the other CapWeb AP command on your, on your own environment. And uh, thank you very much for watching this video.